Welcome once again to module number 10 and in the last module we have actually fixed a 3 LED panel display on the frame. In this module I will show you how to fix the power supply and the WFN controller. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for continuous updates. Well this is how your front of the panel looks like and particularly this is the top of it. Okay your frame will have this kind of handle. So this is the top of the handle. You can identify this as the top. Also you can identify by the arrow that is going to be there on the top. So this is the top side. Okay. So this is how it is going to look like. What we do is we flip it upside down because we are going to fix the power supply which is going to be something like this or a second version can be there and the WFN controller. So these two things we need to fix it. Well, both of them have this hole here. You see the hole here and uh, there is a hole here also. You can use this hole and you can use the same kind of screw that you can use to fix it. All right. So it's very simple job. You use, look at this arrow. This is beginning from here and it is going here. So this is where the data will enter from this particular FRC port. So this is the kind of a beginning end of my climate clock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my power supply and the controller near to this end from where the arrows are starting. Okay. What I'll do is I'll put this clock somewhere here. Let me mount it here. Okay. Just tight it properly. So one screw is enough. Only one you'll be able to match it. So that's it. It's, it's kind of fixed here. Now I have this controller and this control the hole is a little smaller and some people may feel a little difficult you have to work a little harder the hole is here a little smaller these are the standard controller available so we don't have much choices what you can do is you can use this hole one two three or you can put anywhere but we are going to put the frc cable here so make sure that you are not far away from this so i'm going to just put it here as i said this is going to be a little difficult task because the hole being smaller on the controller, but let me try. So this is fixed and this is also fixed. Both of the controller and power supply is now fixed. So that's it in this model. Very simple task, but very important that you fix them properly without damaging the controller. Thank you so much. In the next module, what we are going to do, we are going to connect the wires and cables together. We are going to connect the power cables and we are going to connect the FRC cables. So stay tuned for the next module. Thank you so much.